storm his house over the weekend. In Washington, D.C., a jury is considering the fate of four Americans accused of killing 14 Iraqis in Baghdad. And as Shihab Ritanzi tells us, those men used to work for the Blackwater security firm. They were first accused seven years ago. Now four former U.S. security contractors will learn if they will go to jail for an incident that sparked global outrage during the U.S. occupation of Iraq. It was September 2007. 19 Blackwater security guards were evacuating a U.S. State Department official from a nearby car bombing. The guards say that as their heavily armored convoy approached Baghdad's Nisur Square, they felt threatened by an approaching car. 14 Iraqis were killed and 17 others wounded in what the prosecution alleges was indiscriminate fire by the guards. Promised to, uh, Shortly after, Blackwater's founder, Eric Prince, attempted to justify his men's conduct at a congressional hearing. Most of the attacks we get in Iraq are complex, meaning it's not just one bad thing, it's a host of bad things. Car bomb followed by a small arms attack, RPGs followed by sniper fire. Government prosecutors and eyewitnesses contend that not only did the guards fire recklessly at unarmed civilians, they boasted about it afterwards. They argue three of the four defendants are guilty of manslaughter, a fourth of murder. At a 2007 congressional hearing, members of Congress asked if the shooting was symptomatic of a deeper problem. Blackwater, we have to question in this hearing whether it, was, it created a shadow military of mercenary forces that are not accountable to the United States government or to anyone else. This case is seen as pivotal to the question of whether the security contractors so relied upon by the U.S. as it's waged war around the world are accountable. But there's also the question of what orders they were following. And then there's what they said privately to the contractors, which is, at the end of the day, do whatever you have to take, do whatever you have to do in order to get our people home safely. I think it's fair to say that the State Department um, pretty much looks at companies like Blackwater as sort of disposable assets. Blackwater has been renamed twice following repeated scandals and one of its officials was accused of threatening the State Department's chief investigator in 2007. But a recent investigation found the State Department has awarded more than a billion dollars in contracts to the company since then. The contractor has settled a separate legal claim involving the attack in Nassau Square. Now jurors will render their judgment. Shea Britansi, Al Jazeera, Washington. And the men could face more than...